Pull trigger. First time I ever back flipped it. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat game. All right, today we're gonna to be doing kind of a battery review. Uh, these are some SMC HCL HP flight packs. It's a lower, lighter, milliamp version of their big brother, the HCL HP car and boat pack, okay? Uh, there's a 1800, 2200, 3200, 40, 200, 3, 4, and 6S option. Uh, if you guys run a lot of little boats like me, this is, these packs are going to come in handy. I was super excited to, to find out that he came out with these little guys. Um, the 1800 will be in the next video. It's a 3S 1800. We're going to run that in the Miss Geico 17. It's like fits perfect down in the Sponson. And um, I'm going to run three sets of packs in the twin cat i'm still trying to get this boat tuned in so uh curious to see how different weight batteries react in this Let's boat freaking go all right oh yeah i have a neutral strut position this is a new strut position and i brought my tools in case i need to change it um haven't tried the neutral yet it's perfectly flat with my CG exactly where it was last time so I can kind of see where the boat's at with different strut positions. You guys are probably tired of seeing this boat. Okay, so it looks like it likes a little bit of down position. This is perfectly flat. Yeah, she's got some hop. I could probably, possibly get those batteries forward a little bit. It might run good. So those 2200 CNHLs, are lighter i'll probably get it tuned and pull it all apart and do a paint job not bad not bad come off the throttle nice and easy yep i like to i like to build my boats you know run them make sure everything's okay before i actually paint it you know a lot of guys are different but that's just how i like to do it scooting right there oh yeah somebody wanted to see how it turned at, at some tr at speed i got my fishing pole with me so let's do a couple ovals these batteries here are probably about done i'm interested how it turns too call it edge there probably our battery these little batteries I don't like over discharging them well any any battery I don't like to over discharge it'll ruin them quick fast that was like three-quarter throttle right there let's do it again one more time full throttle full throttle blip yeah she's actually starting to shape up a little bit full, tr full trigger Oh, yes. ESC, it's cold. Cold water is cold. It's uh, January 88, so tips are good. All right. Um, like I said, these are a little bit heavier than the 1300 CNHLs. Uh, these 2200s right here will fit in the shrimp outrigger. Fits in my shrimp outrigger anyway. They fit. Okay. So those of you who have a shrimp outrigger, that might be a boss pack. 80C, these are 100C, not 120 like I was thinking. Little size difference there. They're a lot thinner than the 4S CNHL, okay? So um, I'm going to get these bad boys in the boat here. So my center of gravity on this setup here is right here, right right there on my ride, ride surface where my thumb's at, forward thumb. Right here, okay. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. Yep, there's Arma fanboys, Traxxas fanboy, Pro Boat fanboys, TFL. I'm a SMC racing fanboy. 2200 milliamp 80c 
for us. Let's go. Neutral strut position. Testing a new strut position here. So the boat may not run all that great. I'm uh, still feeling this thing out. Oh, man, those batteries just got some zip. Feels like my CG's a little far forward though. Yeah, they got some zip to them. I'm not even like quarter throttle, you guys. <laughs> Should get a little longer run time than the CNHL packs. Yeah, that's bad. I'm really, I'm really watching this boat like a hawk. This is a battery review, but I'm watching this boat like a hawk, trying to figure out what I need to do next on my tune, you know? So. Full trigger. First time I ever back flipped it. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a bit nervous that I might screw everything up that I've ever done. But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that, right gotta find what I'm good at. Let's check everything. That was a bad crash. First time I ever blew this boat off the water. This boat was built like a tank, that's for sure. Those CNHLs has never blew this thing off the water. Yeah, oh man, you guys want a good pack, man. This, these packs right here might get me my 75, 78, maybe even 80 out that rigger, that shrimp out rigger, possibly. Yeah, yeah, oh, I'm excited to run that shrimp rigger with this. Yes, sir. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, so she got forward CG. She's wanting to blow up, okay, so. That's kind of telling me, like yesterday, I wasn't doing that. It would pick up, but wouldn't pick up quite as hard. So I'm thinking I need to go back down with my stinger. Yeah, that's just my opinion. I have to try several settings on this thing to get it set up right. Hadn't hit low voltage cut yet. unpredictable little critter when I come off that throttle tapes coming up so this will probably be my last little pass I'll try to keep it close in case she flips all right I want to do one more pass real quick I put that tape down one more quick rip and um, we'll check the battery voltage. Half throttle. Eighty-three, seventy-eight. Temps are good, man. Those thirty-four hundred kVs are uh, thirty-four fifty kV rocket motors are actually perfect in this boat, and they were good with those forty millimeter six pitch props. Yeah, got the setup right. Just got to get the tune right. It takes time. Okay, let's check the capacity here. 15.3384. <laughs> so wow, uh, I'll, I'll try to get a time up 
with this versus this it's no fair because these are 1300s but it'll give you guys an idea and we did some backflips it's got a lot more oomph in these packs so yeah definitely think about getting these if you own the shrimp outrigger an mg17 any small boat the the joy's way uh f1 tunnel hull the mad mad shark tunnel hull uh, these probably would fit in those boats make sure you check your measurements and everything you know ac 3s 2200 all right i'm gonna get it all jammed foamed up and uh i'll see you in the water <laughs> i love a challenge and these little boats are challenged at times this thing loves 3S, I ain't even kidding. It loves 3S. So this is the 2200 milliamp, 11.1 volt 3S packs, ADC. Oh, that was clean, boy. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Yep. I was kind of pushing it there. I wanted to see what it would do on 3S. <sighs> Somebody had mentioned in one of my comments the other day, man, how, is, how do you keep your stuff on that bench without anybody stealing it? <laughs> and my reply was, yeah, uh, 240 plus pound burly dude about 20 feet away with a mean, ugly looking face. And they probably just think, it's just not freaking worth it. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just not freaking worth it. Uh, let me make sure this rudder is perfectly in line with the keel, with my trim. That could be, I might have to counteract it when I'm running straight. But when I come off the throttle, I usually kind of let go of my steering wheel. And that could be causing it to do that uh, that veer when I come off the throttle. It's not going to solve the hop, but it could help. Let's see if that helps out. I got the trim centered up. Yeah, so I won't have to go back down with the struts. I got everything to do it with today, and I just don't feel like messing with it. I do it on the bench. Yeah, if I don't pull the trigger too hard, it actually runs pretty damn smooth. Yeah, this boat might like 3S better just because it's lightweight. It's a, uh, it's a heavy little hull, and I think if the boat was lightweight, I don't think it would handle better. <laughs> I, think it, I think the heavier hull is beneficial to this particular hull, you know? Full trigger. That was pretty sweet, and yeah, it's not really like coming off and hopping so bad. With that trim centered up, it's not wanting to like flip and go crazy. So that's good. I'll keep that in mind. It's a learning process with this thing. Full trigger. Oh yeah, man. That was pretty. That was pretty. Into the wind. Got a breeze. I love this boat. Man, I've, I've, yeah, oh man, I'm in love with this thing. I can't wait to get a big twin cat. Full trigger, full trigger. Oh, <laughs> it was that servo trim. The servo trim was throwing that bad boy off when it come off throttle. Still got a little hop there, but the damn servo was wanting to veer it. You know what I'm saying? It was wanting to veer it with that longer rudder in the water. Oh, I'm figuring this thing out. I'm a cipher knowledge boy, like Jethro Bodine, son. Like old Jethro Bodine from the uh, 
Beverly Hero Billy, the old siphonologist. Come on. <laughs> 45 and a half knots and no freaking smoke. Boy. Full trigger. Yeah, see how she was hopping there and it didn't catch a rail? Cause my, my trim was centered up. Nice. I don't know, I kind of like it on 3S. Plenty fast for me. Full trigger. Little hop, little hop. Got on it too quick. I like how this thing's got a long run time. That's what I love about SCC packs. That was pretty. Yeah, that's what I love about SMC packs, man. They got pretty decent run time. And discharge. Full trigger. Floating, boy. Floating. Oh, it likes that light weight up front. So I'm learning. I'm learning here. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's bring her back. You know, I check down. Smooth. Smooth sounding. Uh, it was running good those last few uh, straightaways there. So that's telling me with the water in the back, a light front, it kind of tends to like it. And there is some water, a lot of water actually. Dang. So I am, I am going to have to move my, my outlets so I can push my ESC back all the way up onto my servo. So that's going to be a project. Uh, the video is probably long enough, so I'll do that a different day for you guys. So let's check the uh, the voltage here. Battery review. Awesome. These are freaking awesome, you guys. I like these packs a lot. Wow, that's a great run time for 2200 with some big props. This thing's probably drawing. Oh, I don't even know, man. It's it's, it's pulling some some current, and uh, I got at least 20 straights 20 rips back and forth on these packs that's awesome and they got some yeah yeah so go check out smc racing this 1800 right here was ten dollars well 11. the 11.1 the volt i think was 14 if i'm not mistaken and the 4s pack was right at 16. okay so check them out get your choice of connector soldered up and uh the shipping is really quick in the United States. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully the video wasn't too long. I try to reduce it for you. So uh, boat gang for life. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I do have super thanks. If you guys want to help support the channel, that's an easy, fast way to do it. So uh, we'll see you next time.